it's Maddie, your very old sugar glider in the pineapple hat, and I'm here today with another LPS Series 3 opening, another, the part 2 to my LPS, all of the Series 3 pets opening, and I know I said in the last video that part 2 was going to be the cosmic pets, but it's actually going to be the premium pets and the fancy flutter set, I hope you guys don't mind, and please excuse me if I sound a bit less enthusiastic throughout this video than I usually would, I'm feeling kind of cruddy tonight, so yeah, I hope you guys don't mind. But, yeah, the show must go on, and let's not dilly-dally, let's get to these sets. So, here we have all the sets that I'm going to be opening today. Uh, I could barely fit them all in the picture, so that's probably a good sign, because there's a lot of stuff. Um, but, yeah, so we have the five premium pets, and then the Fancy Flutter set, which... I kind of lumped them in with the premium pets, number one, because I found them at Walmart um, at the same time today, and the fact that they have those, like, really big, beautiful wings and all the nice accessories, they kind of, like, fit in pretty well with the premium pets. Um, so, yeah, I'll talk about the individual sets right before I'm about to open them, so, yeah, let's do that. Sirens. Sirens. Of course, when I start to make a video, sirens, sirens, yes, yes, it just, ha there just, there just had to be some kind of thing while I'm trying to make a video. The nerve. So, let's start out first off with this adorable, adorable fish. I love this one so much. I know people have had mixed feelings about the premium pets, but I really do like this fish. I love the big tail on her and the stand and don't even get me started about the accessories. It's so cute and I love this new packaging with the zigzags and I probably should mention this before I go any further. I'll try not to go on a tangent but I know that Music Girl Pro already made a video talking about the premium pets but I don't care. I have a different opinion than her so I still have something new to offer. So, yeah, I really like the zigzag pattern on the side of the packaging and all the colors and stuff on it. If you can see on the back, they have this paw print where you can, like, kind of reach in. That's pretty cool. And it shows pictures of the other four premium pets right there, so that's pretty cool. And it shows the fish all set up. And this fish with the scales and the big tail really reminds me of a pet fish that I used to have. And you're like, Maddie, it was a pet fish. Was it really a big deal? Yeah, it kind of was because I had this particular fish for like four or five years. It was a special type of fish called an Oranda. They can live an incredibly long time um, if taken care of well. And this one was taken care of well. And he had this really big tail like this one. He was like orange. Um, so what I'm thinking is that I might or might not in the future, if I get the chance, like if I get, if I have an opportunity to get one of these ones like used, um, I might just get it and get another one and customize it to look like Chip. That was the name of the fish if I didn't mention it before. But I probably should stop talking about the fish I used to have and open this set. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Reba Rosie Fish, for those who care about the names, I personally don't really. Um, 
But we have our adorable little fish here, and if you've seen Music Girl Pro's video, you'll know. Um, the tail comes off, and I like this material on here. I like that it's two-sided. The sparkles, oh, I love the sparkles. Um, and this little ornament, it actually stays on. I mean, it doesn't really clip on super tight, but it seems to stay on there pretty well. Uh, let's see, does this stay on, this little clam thing? Uh, it stays on alright. It doesn't, I mean, if you were to jostle the pet shop a whole bunch, it could very easily come off, but it doesn't seem to be falling off as easily as it did in Music Girl Pro's video. Let's see this bracelet. Uh, yeah, that actually seems to I mean it's not like super tight on there but it stays on well enough and then we have the little headband and okay that okay yeah I kinda wish that one fit on there a bit better and then we have let's try the glasses oh the glasses stay on there real well even though I really like glasses, but I'm not really a big fan of this design of glasses, but it's good that they stay on there good. And then we have our little base with the translucent stick right there, so then it kind of looks like our little fish friend is swimming, and it's really good for display, and I really, really like that about this pet. The displayability of it, it's just so so cute. Um, I'd probably say that I like this fish better than any fish from Generation 1 or 2. I know that's not, that might not be a popular opinion, but they've like, they never really paid much attention to fish. They made a couple cool looking fish, like a couple sparkly fish, but they never, they never made anything like this. Never anything this cool with this big of a tail or whatever. So, that's my personal opinion. I really think I like this set. It's definitely not my favorite out of all of these, but it definitely is super duper cute. I love these new pets. Hasbro, keep this up. And before we move on to the next pet, let me just mention that in this set, despite this being a Wave 1, I got a Wave 2 checklist, which I'm really excited about. I've really been wanting to get my hands on the Wave 2 checklist, especially because, um, well, really the only difference between the Wave 1 and the Wave 2 checklist is the Wave 2 Hungry Pet Blind Cans, which I do prefer the Wave 1s, but some of these Wave 2s still look super, super cute. Like, the really creative one, I think, is the yogurt goat. That one's really cool. And the peanut butter elephant. And the pancake. Is that supposed to be a bear, I think? Uh, the ice cream penguin. I'm not sure exactly what fruit that's supposed to be. Uh, is that supposed to be a chili pepper, I think? I like the monkey with the coconut and the hula skirt and the spaghetti dog. And is that yogurt again? Or a frappuccino, I'm not sure. And I think this is like a corn... Corn... I'm not sure what animal that's supposed to be. But, yeah, those pets are super cute and I'm totally looking forward to them. But anyway, I've probably been waiting long enough. Let's move on to the next premium pet. Okay, I was originally going to do the birds first before doing the dogs, but I know the dogs are the ones that more people are interested in, and since I took so long getting to it, I'm going to do the dog next. Well, there are two dogs. But, uh, this purple poodle, uh, yeah, I love the packaging. Again, they have this reach in paw print right there. Have the other four premium pets right there. Uh, there's not much else to say about the package. Her name is BB La Poodle. Again, if you care about the names. And I'll talk about the pen, the accessories, and stuff after I open it. So let's do that. <laughs> Oh 
gosh, guys. I adore this pet. Okay. Music Girl Pro, if you're watching this, which you probably aren't, um, but in case you are, I, I actually liked your video about the premium pets. I love your channel. I'm a big fan, but I gotta disagree with you about this poodle because I, I love this poodle. I think I love that they did some of the ones with the real hair. Uh, I actually don't mind that it's kind of the frizzy curly. She kind of, she's kind of like, I could make her one of those people, you know, like those people that have like the super curly, frizzy hair and it's like so poofy, you know, and people just, and they have to tell people don't touch my hair because it's just so poofy, you know, those people. Um, this girl reminds me of an LPS version of those people, and I'm totally going to make this a character in one of my series or a short film somewhere. I'm going to find a way to fit her in somewhere, because this would make a super, super cute character and have a joke where, like, everybody is, like, trying to touch her hair, and then she's like, stop touching my hair, and they're like, so poofy, you know, and then it would be relatable for those people who have poofy, frizzy hair, and people keep touching it, but yeah, I just, I just love the hair on this one, it gives it so much personality, I just, I, I just love this pet. I love the ombre on it with the purple and the stars on the cheek. Oh, oh, I love it so much. And the fact that they have the little strands of sparkly purple in with it. Oh, it's just the icing on the cake. This pet is so cute. This one might just be my favorite out of all of the premium pets. And... So now that we've talked about the pet itself, it has these cute little bows that go on like that, super duper adorable. It has a skirt, which is probably, I love LPS skirts, and Hasbro hasn't made very many of them lately, and I'm really happy that, that two of these premium pets have skirts, this one and the other dog. And then you have these cute little heart-shaped sunglasses, and I love these sunglasses. They're a very good general accessory, even though they're falling off of her, but I think they would fit very well on, a, on like, some different pets. I really like it when Hasbro makes, like, these general accessories that can fit on most pets. Speaking of general accessories, this cute collar, uh, which you might notice... Might or might not be able to see, but it actually says LPS really, really tiny. I barely noticed it. If it wasn't for Music Girl's Pros, Music Girl Pros video, I probably wouldn't have thought to look. But yeah, if you look super duper close, you can see it says LPS again. Another general accessory that can go on 99% of pets. And then you have this cute little chair. Uh, it could double as, like, a chair or maybe even a bed. Uh, probably more like a large chair. But it's so, so cute, and this would totally be something that would go in, like, a fashionista's room. Like, this would be perfect for, like, my character Trixie. If you remember back in some of my earlier videos, I had a character named Trixie. I didn't really show a lot of her in my videos, but that would be a very good thing if I did... If I had a scene with her in her room, which I do uh, plan on doing sometime in the future, probably not the close future, it probably will be long way off because I have too much other stuff planned, but yeah, regardless, love this pet, love her poofy hair, amazing, I love it. So, uh, I could just keep going on about this pet, but instead, I'm going to move on to the next one. Okay, let's do that. So, next I'm going to do this bird, which is Ella Parody, if anyone cares. Um, 
So, yeah, again, I love the packaging, love the design on it, love the zigzags, love the back, four other pets, uh, etc., etc., etc. Let's open the darn thing. So now we have our first little bird, our little parrot, which I do not... The one thing I don't get is parrots don't typically have plumage like this. It's peacocks that are known for that. And I don't... I don't understand why they would give a parrot, like, big plumage like this. That's what it's called. Uh, but... Aside from that, I really do like the sparkles, I like the fabric, and I actually do like the pattern on the back. It kind of looks cool. Uh, maybe a little lazy, but hey, I still kind of like it. And if you take this off, oh, that's really cute. Uh, yeah, that's really cute. You have this little accessory that pro that could be put on more LPS, some more creative general accessories. Then you have this uh, headband that could totally go on a lot of different pets. Again, really like that. And then I lay, then I have these yellow glasses, also a huge fan of that. Can be used on many, many different pets. Then you have this cute little mirror, kind of Standard, you know, uh, ooh, look, it's me. It actually reflects pretty well, considering. Um, but yeah, this pet is super duper cute. I love it. And then it has its cute little perch, and let's see if it'll actually stand up on its perch and yay it stands on the perch that's that's good so this one is also good for display not quite as good as the fish but still very good for display definitely not my favorite out of these pets but it definitely is a super cute pet i love it so much and let's move on to the next one before i start rambling on about the colors and stuff in this video ends up being like a half hour long. So next we have this peacock which is named Roy Peacoat and which I mentioned the name because I actually kind of like this name because Hasbro is finally acknowledging the fact that okay kids Time to learn a little mini lesson about birds, courtesy of Maddie from LPS Pineapple Inc. Um, you might look at this pet and think that it might be a girl. Or look at any peacock that, um, Hasbro has released. But, um, peacocks that have the colorful plumage like that are all dudes. They're, they're all, they're all guys. Um, the female peacocks are brown and aren't very colorful at all. And some people don't really care about this fact. I kind of do. So that's why I've never really used many peacocks in my videos because it would be kind of weird to make them dudes and I would get tons of comments asking me, uh, why I used a colorful peacock as a dude. Um... But yeah, it's acknowledging Roy. That is an undeniably male name. So, yes. Thank you, Hasbro. I usually don't care about the names, but yeah. And for your information, a female peacock is actually called a peahen. So, yeah, little, little, little mini lesson. So, if your parents tell you that you're wasting your life on the internet and that nothing's educational, just point them to the part in this video where I actually taught you something. So, now, mini rant over, let's open the darn pet. <laughs>
have our little fashionable dude right here. He has this really, really beautiful feather tail right here with this cute little pattern on the back, which I, again, don't really mind. Um, and this cute, these adorable sparkly hearts. I love it so much. And then you can take his little pink tuxedo off. <sighs> And you can put this on a lot of different pets. It's really cool. And he can stand up on his little perch, just like his friend the parrot. Then we have these cute little sunglasses. Sunglasses. They're just normal glasses. Um, and even though they're not my favorite glasses, I do think they are still really cute. They're definitely better than the fish's glasses. And yeah, that's really cool. And then you have this hat, which I think is pretty cool. If I can get my hands on another one of these, I will paint it black because it, it, it kind of looks like a snapback and I like snapbacks. Um, but yeah, and then we have a pink mirror where the parrot had a purple mirror. Uh, yeah, pretty much same as the other one except it's pink, so very cute accessory. Uh, and a very cute pet. I really like this blue. I love the pink hearts on it. And yeah, this one is also very good for display, just like the other one. And yeah, there's not really much else to say. Let's move on to the last premium pet. Here we have Ada Fluff Pup, which... Yeah, I'm sorry. I usually say I don't care about the names, but... That is just, but that one in particular is just an objectively terrible name. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm not really sure what breed of dog this is supposed to be. I would legit really like to know. So if you know what breed this dog is supposed to be, please let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, this dog has probably been one of the most contentious of the new premium pets, especially Music Girls Pros video, um, and I'll talk more about that after I open it. So let's do that. Here we have our final single premium pet, and it comes with the pet, obviously, this cute little uh, chair, couch, bed thing. Uh, it's the same as what came with the poodle, but it's blue. And then we have these cute little glasses that have little bows on them. I've never seen them make, gla make glasses with bows on them. I think they're pretty cute. Um... Then it has this cute little hairbrush, which, with the way the bristles are, you can actually use it to brush your hair, which I think is really nice. And then there are these little blue things on here, which Music Girl Pro pointed out that she's probably going to use them as collars, and I'm probably going to use them as collars, too. And then we have another skirt, a yellow skirt. And that is very good. Uh, I like this one because some of the pets that the other skirts won't go on, this one will go on. So that's pretty cool. And a lot of people don't like this pet's design, including Music Girl Pro. Um, but again, I will have to politely disagree. I love the big hair on this pet. Um, and it says that she looks kind of like she's chubby. She has kind of a full face. Uh, she's clearly, uh, I don't know which breed of dog she's supposed to be exactly, probably like a Cocker Spaniel or something. Um, 
but she's probably, or like some breed related to it, but I think she's meant to be a breed that typically has like a chubbier, fuller face, and I'm all about hashtag body positivity, so I think this character would be a, this pet would be a really good character to be like a, kind of like a diva fashionista, but like one that's not convention, that doesn't have a conventional body type, and she's like, really comfortable with her body and I really like this pet. I think the cheetah print on the dog was a little was a bit of a strange choice but I personally think it works. It looks super cute. This pet can clearly be a character that has her own style and doesn't answer to anyone and yeah I just love her and her big hair and her uniqueness and yeah um, this one would probably have to be, uh, my second favorite after the poodle. And then after that it would be the fish, then the peacock, then the parrot. Um, but, yeah, this pet is super duper cute. I love it. Uh, and now to move on to what a lot of you have probably been waiting for, the big set, the fancy flutter set. Let's talk about it. So here we have the big event of the night, the Fancy Flutters set, and I love these pets. They are so cute. I love their big wings, and I'm not going to talk about them in detail because I'm going to talk about that after I open it. But yeah, I love the designs on the packaging. It has the zigzags, just like the premium pets, another reason to lump them together. Um, and like the premium pets, these ones still have names. They've, I don't know if they've done it for any of the other pets, but at least on the hungry pets and the blind cans, they've stopped giving them names, which I personally do not mind at all, and I welcome. Um, but yeah, these ones also have names, which again, I don't really mind. I usually just ignore the names. Um, but yeah, so... Let's open the set. Okay, so here we are, guys, with the Fancy Flutters family set, and oh my gosh, do I love these pets. I love their huge, big, sparkly wings. First off, we have the Dad Butterfly, which, first off, a guy butterfly, like, that is practically un- heard of for Hasbro, so thank you Hasbro for making it easier on me to do a family with butterflies. Thank you. And this guy, I love his glasses and bow tie. Um, I've already decided his name is going to be Mr. Flutters, and he is going to be a science teacher in the hat pack. I am totally going to use that because he looks, just to me, he totally looks like a stereotypical science teacher. Like a dorky, cool, but yet kind of dorky science teacher. Just so cool. And then you have uh, the little girl butterfly and her flower crown thing keeps turning backwards, which is not a good sign, but it's still super cute. Um, you have her, and she clearly has some of the same sunflower design that her dad has in his wings, and that is super duper cute. I love it. 
I can see her being a total daddy's girl. And then you have this butterfly right here, which has this adorable little flower headband crown, kind of similar to her daughter's, but with a bunch of flowers instead of just one in the middle. And I love, again, this kind of, I don't want to say scribbly, but this cute little flower design on the wings. I love it so, so much. And then we have this little one, which I'm going to have be a girl, but she's going to be like a tomboy. And she has glasses and a hat, which is practically unheard of for butterflies to come with this many accessories. And then you have the little boy over here. I'm going to make him a boy. Um, he has a hat and glasses just like his sister. And then we have the teeny, teeny, tiny, baby, baby caterpillar. So, so cute. And I know exactly where this baby caterpillar can go. The baby caterpillar can go right up here in this adorable little chrysalis. And that is so cute. I love that it just hangs there from the thing. And yes, you can take it off. And I love this huge giant flower with the leaves. If you probably saw the leaves before with this big sparkly flower on top. Oh, I love this so much. I'm totally using this when I do Fairyland because I'm planning on doing a thing with fairies and um, non fairies like them interacting and you'll you'll learn about the story and the lore that I've built around fairies and sprites etc in Littlest Pet Shop Kingdom. You'll learn about them in later videos. I'm just gonna leave you in suspense for now. But yeah, this set is absolutely adorable. And I I'm not gonna say any more than that because I could go on and on about all the teeny tiny intricate de details and how they're awesome, but I do not want this video to be an hour long. So, yeah, on to the outro. So, anyway guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out part one of me trying to open all of the LPS Series 3s, and check out the later parts at the la at a later date if you're watching this in the future and if you are hello people of the future uh don't you people of the future and people of the present and maybe even people from the past would that even work okay i'm not gonna go into this tangent just like comment and subscribe and also follow me on instagram because i have an instagram now um and anyway, I hope to see you again on LPS Bible Incorporated. Bye, guys!